uh, got on with quite a bit since the last video. Uh, all this lot's done. Just ready to remove all the masking and reassemble. Got the grey on the front, just a bit of contrast. Just pocket cover. All the standard fasteners. Don't need them out yet. Um, what else can I do? So yeah, yeah. So, ending's all sort of a bit dark under there because it's all covered up. I'll, I'll show that on all the next video. Drained all the fork oil out. That's the old oil. I'm sure that's not helping much with the uh, handling, to be honest. So, it's got fresh fluid in there. They're all cleaned up and masked up. Waiting for paint that should have been here yesterday and hasn't arrived yet, which is uh, most frustrating. Fresh brake fluid in the rear. <laughs> so like I put fresh in the front, flushed it all through and thought, right, brilliant, topped it all up, and then noticed that the the brake pads are really fucking low, so now I've got to sort of siphon some of it out and put new brake pads in, and then uh, re-top all the fluid up again, which is a bit fucking annoying. But I should just about have enough brake fluid left just to do the clutch. Um, yeah, there's not much else to show you really. Um, like I say, I will sort of update these as as quick as I can. Um, but for the moment, I'm just going to sort the fasteners out for this. I can actually get all the oil filter back on now. I've got an ignition advance that we go in there, so I can't put that on yet. Um, apparently it's meant to make the uh, bike run a little bit nicer so uh, I'm really just holding off on um, paint for the forks at the moment so I will update this once they're done and all this plastic wrapping is off the bike alright back again um, it's so close to being done now let me um, flick you on all that. New brake pads, uh, lines, shit in it. Exhaust system and on. It's all cleaned up nicely. The bugger to fucking fit that one. I think some of it had moved while we've been cleaning it, so uh, it wasn't sort of lining up and everything's a little bit stiff on it. But um, yeah, cards all on. New 36 million nets because the old ones are block hard, couldn't get the cars on there. We've got the battery in, and we do have some power. Okay. We have electrics. Ta -da. So, today's little job put some oil in, that's the oil cooler's on. Put the tank up and see if we can push the button see if it'll start um, the choke mechanism is seized on the carbs so uh, fingers crossed it'll actually start so we'll fill you in a little bit later back again for another little update so uh, that's the front end all back together now nice and shiny exhaust on Engine all done, and then things didn't quite go to plan. As you can see, carbs are back out. Uh, started it up, it was only running well at first, it started pissing out the overflow pipe. So, one of the float bowls was blocked or stuck, so I gave it a tap that stopped. It was only running on two, um, no matter what I did. So kept trying and it kept coming out the overflow it kept getting the float kept getting stuck so I had no choice but to take the carbs off and that's where we are at the moment what a fucking ball ache uh, number two the float was stuck which is fucking annoying but we live in a good state of them that uh, that's, that's the float seat 
that's the spring seat for the float. Yeah, everything's we've got some of the some of the jets soaking in some uh, cleaner. I've got a new fuel filter coming. Found a place online that does a genuine Yamaha one. So that, that's a state of the emulsion tubes. Um, I've got a kit coming from uh, I think it's XJR parts. Um, it's got all new emulsion tubes, jets, and everything. I've got to save my main jets because it's been rejetted for the full race system. So I'm just waiting for that. So a little bit of a little bit of a disappointment on the first start up. Sounds good. Took the decibel cooler out like you do. Um, I'll put that in so it doesn't piss the neighbours off when I'm working on it. But hopefully on the next video update I will have the whole thing up and running I fucking hope so this is you know this was meant to be just sort of quickly tie it up put it back together uh, my mate said the carbs have been ultrasonically cleaned they might have like three years ago and not cleaned out but um, I did take these into work we got an ultrasonic cleaner at work if you look at how clean everything looks in there now yeah, all the bores. So, yeah, it is all clean. So we just have to uh, play the waiting game now and sort of see what happens when the jet kit turns up or the, the car rebuild kit. Everything else looks okay. Diaphragms are all good. Uh, you can see what I've been jetted for the for the Dino jet kit. Uh, I think the the Dino jet slides. But yeah, so uh, that is stuff. Some of the heads are chewed up on the screws getting them apart. So I'm going to put my stainless ones in. Uh, we shall see what happens.